Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I have a client who drove here all the way from Alabama. So thank you girl for supporting me. She requested medium sized box braids. This is my medium sized braid, but she requested that the braids, the actual braid itself be on the smaller side so that it's not heavy. And be, that's because the front of her hair, she has like thinning on her edges. And so what I did, I think is very important that I say this, but what I did is that I made the braids smaller because the braids themselves will be smaller in the front. Small braids are much healthier than big, chunky braids, y'all. Like I say it all the time. Small braids do not weigh your hair down. You can do so much more with them. You can style them easily. You can just put them in a ponytail. I was telling her <laughs> that I have a rule with my, my braids and I say, if I cannot fit my braids all my braids into a ponytail with one hand then it's too much hair <laughs> and you can still have fullness without having to weigh all of your hair down and have it breaking off so she does have a relaxer but she does stretch her relaxers I don't know if you can see but in the front there is some thinning I was really concerned about it um just when she first sat down I was like oh I don't know I mean I don't want to damage it any further what we did was when I got up to the front and you'll see her hair is thicker on the edges than I thought it was and longer than I thought it was. So I think it's just a little shrunken and she said some of it grew back from another experience that she had with a different braid style. And so, yeah. But as you can see, I make the braids a little closer as I get to the top. Cause like I said, like if you, if you have a client with uh, thinner edges, you definitely want to make sure that you're giving them like a safe amount of coverage. So as you can see here, see how it's thin, but it's not as thin as I thought it was. So the small braids are definitely a great choice. They will not weigh her hair down and it will look nice. You definitely don't want to put them so close together as well that they are hanging on. You want to give them space, give them strands to hold on to. And a little bit of space is okay, you guys. Like, it's all right. And maybe next time when her hair grows out a little more and her hair fills in a little bit more because she's had a healthier set of box braids, maybe we'll make them a little smaller that time. But for now, they look good. They're not pulling too much. She said my hands are really gentle, so... I appreciate the feedback and she said that it wasn't painful at all. There were some braids that I told her to hold on at the root just so that they weren't pulling. And yeah, as you can see, she's just holding on to the root. Um, that last braid always gets people. <laughs> um, but yes. Yeah. She wants wavy ends. So after I do a good little trimming of the braids, we will add the wavy ends. And she just wants the ends wavy. She made it clear that she didn't want them to define just a little wave, just a little bit. So I just did the ends, but I made sure to dip them up higher just so that I can still get that smooth effect for all the braids. Of course, we're using boiling hot water. Y'all already know. And as you can see, it's just very soft, very soft waves. That's, that's all she wanted was some soft waves. <laughs> I'm finishing it up with some um, styling mousse. And yeah, as you can see, it looks beautiful on her. I really appreciate her driving all the way up here from Alabama and I think she looks gorgeous. So thank you all for watching. Maybe in a few weeks I'll ask her for an update just to see how the braids are doing so you all can know how it's going. But yeah, uh, looks great. It looks amazing. Watch me braid. I started in the front this time. Trimming each braid helps the braids look neater and 
last longer. My client for today has a medium density head of hair with fine strands. It's important for me to not create a heavy head of braids. Heavy braids can cause breakage and hair loss. So I like to match the braids to the client's natural hair density for optimum health. She will still have a head full of beautiful box braids, but they will be lightweight and easy to style. These braids took seven and a half hours to complete. We used Easy Braid, my favorite brand of braiding hair in color 1B. I know these braids appear to be small, but these are in fact my medium sized box braids. These braids last anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks depending upon your daily maintenance routine and your natural hair's behavior. Perimeter touch-ups are recommended for maximum longevity. before my client comes expressions braiding hair color number four her scalp may appear red or pale in some areas because she has been experiencing psoriasis those who are familiar with psoriasis in the scalp will understand so please don't come for me in the comments and say i'm braiding her hair to tight mild to moderate manipulation of her hair will cause her scalp to turn red there was one area at the nape that she expressed was a little tender, but I fixed it before moving on to the next braid. It's so important to listen to your clients and make their braid experience as comfortable as it can be.
braids with boiling hot water. Be careful. Results will be posted soon.